they didn't follow you because they didn't follow you because they like you. Look at this cute little bistro restaurant. Oh, it's out of bounds. <laughs> Welcome back to the Idiot in 8. Today is the first day that we're allowed, well actually, maybe the second day I guess, now that we're allowed to walk around outside without masks on, which is the perfect time to reboot a series that's been on hold for seven or eight months. October was the last time we did it, right before the last lockdown. We were in the 20th and Ronnie's Mont with my buddy Janelle, and today we're back in the 20th and Ronnie's Mont to count back down through the 20 Ronnie's Monts, 20 more quarters, as we go at a slower pace so we don't go crazy. Today we are in Belleville. Belleville I think might be the smallest quarter in the 20th but it's smaller than Père Lachaise right next door and is home to the Parc de Belleville. A few other little things that are in my guide which is also recently re-released with some updates. We can talk about that as we go. I'll show you a restaurant that's in my guide that's right next to a really fantastic view but there's a whole flock of children coming this way so we're gonna like skip forward a second. The boundaries today are on the diagonal. So in the southwest we have Boulevard de Belleville in the northwest we have Rue de Belleville. Northeast, this one's gonna be tough, Rue de Pixerécourt and southeast is Rue de Meny Monon. So I've never known if I say that correctly or not. This is the street that I'm butchering the name. I think I'm gonna get some uh, pronunciation guidance. Today, we are starting next door in the 11th to make sure that we get a little bit of good coffee to kick off our walk. So I'm meeting Jess at a new place I've never been before, which we're gonna try out here. Because unfortunately I have yet to find any good coffee in this section. The Belleville Roastery used to have a location, or Belleville Brûlerie, right next to uh, Pyrénées. It was in this quarter, but it closed down like a year ago, at least. So since we're not the gambling type when it comes to our caffeine, we're gonna make sure we get some before we go in. And then if we're lucky, we'll find another spot on the way. And otherwise, we'll wander, see what we discover, show you the park, one of the nice longest views of the Eiffel Tower, and we'll see what else we stumble upon. Also, despite being a, a pretty hot and muggy day, I'm wearing pants because at the end of this, well, I have a surprise for you. Hopefully a good surprise. Hopefully not a bad surprise, but uh, I've got my rendezvous with the prefecture, which means that hopefully there's some resolution as to what's going on with my visa by the end of this video. We'll find out. That's a little teaser for you. Anyways, let's uh, check out, what is this place again? Café Inomang. I'm really excited about this. What's up? Yo, you might recognize this guy from the 19th. Everyone, <laughs> so good to see you again. So good to see you too, Rogan. This is my plus one. This is you can always bring this plus one. Yeah, he's really a plus ten. Unfortunately, I gotta work. Uh, I can't come with you guys. I mean, we're working. Yeah, yeah this is work. No kidding. It's fun work. I'm I'm keeping I'm keeping my receipts. <laughs> Yeah, you live right by here. You didn't know this is here? Well, I never go up the street this way. I always go that way. You realize, too, never. we're gonna gain some elevation today, too. Oh, yeah. Get those quads working. Climbing. So the Belleville Market's right here. I'm assuming this is the Belleville Market. I guess we can look on the map to be sure. I'll put it below whether I was right or wrong about that. On Boulevard de Belleville, which is one of our boundaries for today. Rue de Belleville is just over there, which is one of our other boundaries. We're gonna bounce around in between them. We'll see which ones we touch and uh, head up the hill but here's your market for the day. This is the boundary between the 20th and the 11th. They share it, we'll count it, it's in it, why not? Do you shop at markets ever? Uh, occasionally. Should shop at markets more. I know, me too. Never do them? Well, I like walking through them and I like buying flowers from them. Yep. But I get really overwhelmed when there's like, I never have cash, first of all. And right. It's good to have cash. And I get really overwhelmed by all the people. That's fair enough. Well, and I think the thing is, it's not in my mentality. Like, I grew up at going to supermarkets buying yeah. everything for like a week. Yeah. And the mentality here is that these markets are usually only open like two days a week. And so, but they rotate. So there's always a market somewhere nearby that's open. And a lot of French people will buy their groceries just for a day or two at a time. So here we are, we're finally in the 20th. COVID tests and all. <laughs> all right, we're, we're sneaking into this little park here that I didn't know was here. And this is where the fun of the exploring really begins. A little bit of street art there. 
all the smiling monsters. It's cute. All right, ping pong tables, street art, a little bit of a playground, a fountain, lots of benches to sit on. Nice little park. Yeah, I like. I didn't realize that Park de Belleville was right behind it. So here's the question. Roses. Oh. Ooh, they're There's nice. Roses. Okay, go smell the roses. My friend Janelle, you've probably seen her, my Paris portraits, little plug for her, <laughs> always says to stop and smell the roses. No? She's not wrong. And the roses in France smell so good. Actually, these ones don't smell that good. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna let you choose whether, because I feel like going up the hill is a commitment. There's one place up at the top that I'll sh at least show that I know would be a good spot for, it's a great spot for evening drinks. I don't know how the food is to be honest. I think I've eaten there once and I think it's good. We're gonna check it out. I recommend it in my guide purely for the drinks location. It's a really good spot if you're in this area. So what I was thinking is if we go up the hill, then we're coming back down from there and there's no going back up, okay. right? Unless we're gonna go up the hill twice. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, the, so then I was gonna say, we can go up now and point that out and then find what we find on the way down. Or we can go see if we can find that church first and end on the top of the hill. We the, could end on the top. But that's the thing. I think let's actually go up now. Ah. And then look at the drinks place and then make our way down, find the church, explore the rest of the area. I am all, I'm on board. We're going straight up, but like there's some like roundabout ways to go through here. We're gonna get, let's check out the playground. Yes. Is it over this way or that way? This, this way? This way, but we might have to go up one more. All right, let's go up. We'll see how long the kitty hangs out before we, I mean, this cat's cool. He might let you pet him. Nope, nope. He's done. Nope. Stocking off. This park has one of the coolest playgrounds in the city. I don't think that, but it, it actually intimidates me. So I don't know, uh, at what level of parenting you were at to let your kids play on it, but I would I would equate it to like cool dad. It smells. That doesn't. Yeah. I don't have a... Jess, who are you? Oh wow. <laughs> Just realized. Well, everybody knows you're Rogan. Rogan's. Rogan was in the, actually in the 18th. I said 19th earlier. Yeah, but he's your he's your boyfriend. Let's be honest. Yes. Yes. Why? Yeah. What? Yeah. He is my boyfriend. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Just plug your own thing. Okay, I we'll come back really... to her. I don't know. I can. I don't have much to plug. My name's Jess. Yeah. I am a content writer slash marketer. I freelance. Not much else. <laughs> She's a gorgeous Canadian. I'm Who's, Canadian. Are we allowed to say sadly we're losing you soon? We we can say that. Can yeah. we say that? Yeah. She's we are moving. Moving back to Canada. We are from Winnipeg. For anyone that's watching, that's from Winnipeg. Hi, Winnipeg. Hello. Um. Yeah. I'm sure you'll get to know me more on this walk. Prepare your welcome craft dinner for this one. She's on her way. Yes. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah, well that's already put your name on the screen it's, before. Yeah. It's oh, right here. Oh, doing here. it again. Yeah. Maybe here. Oh, it could be. Maybe here. It might be completely underneath you. Or it could be in the lake. Do a reveal. Put your hands together. Like that. And then just spread them wide. There you go. Okay. <laughs> there. Follow me. <laughs> this, they, I feel like they've made up, upgrades to this. So the reason I said this intimidates me is because of the slope. Like you're going to fall downhill. Oh, but it's that like amazing. It's springy. Um, Material. Gonna make sure not to film any children, but look, just look at this place. This is pretty cool. It's super cool. It's like if a skate park and a baby gym had a baby. That was weird. <laughs> That is the church I was talking about. So assuming that's within bounds, I really want to go in there. But first we got to go show you the view. This park has a phenomenal view that you need a long lens to fully take advantage of, but you'll still enjoy it if you're in the neighborhood. Up there is where we're headed. So if you come from the other direction and you end up at the top of the park, you'll end up at that view up there, which is where we're going. And then you're going to be able to look over this whole park and the waterfall is just over there. So we can go check that out and see if it's on. This is a preview that we're getting here. The waterworks are not on. But uh, this is actually really nice framing. You can see, I think that's Saint Sulpice. And uh, between us and Saint Sulpice, that spire looks very Saint Chapelle. You can just barely see Pompidou there. So Pompidou, Saint Sulpice. We'll see what else we can see from the top. 
up there, just above the dancing ladies. You want to join them? Yeah. some street art up here that I really, really enjoyed of people like going through portals and there it's gone. Where was it? It was here, but they've got some other stuff. There's some really fun, there's usually some good street art up here. Whether or not it's still here when you get here, obviously I'm a little disappointed. But here's the view. It is a nice view. I have never been up there. Really? Not as far as there. You got, you got, oh, you just, you came up to here in the park? Yeah. And you didn't come up here? No. Oh, Rogan's gonna be so jealous. Yeah. I don't want to disclose where we live. But not far. But we live like a six minute walk from here and we've never been up here. So if you're coming to Paris, do it. Definitely come up here. This is, this is cool. It's all about the extra exploration time. Yeah. All right, we've seen the park. We're gonna, so we're, we're, we're as, about as high as we're gonna get. Just to the right, walking back, is a little spot on the corner. They've got a couch out right now, which is pretty fancy. Cool. Which is a great spot to catch a drink on the terrace, patio, whatever you call it. Have a nice evening with friends. It's really, really fun. It's where I was thinking we might end up for lunch. Clearly we're not, we're gonna try something new today. But it's in my guide, along with a bunch of others. And you should definitely come check it out. They also have a blue Wallace fountain, which is very rare. It's like if the Smurfs had a Wallace fountain. And ironically, the best view of the Eiffel Tower is actually from over here by the restaurant across the street. In a really good way. Feels, it kind of feels like you're outside of Paris a bit. Mm. Like it's feeling very quiet and quaint, like a little town. Yep. Um, the architecture is still Parisian up there, but doesn't it feel a bit oh, yeah. quieter and very different up here? Yeah, I love it. The nice thing is most people don't want to walk up a hill, mm -hmm. so they avoid these areas. So you can have them all to yourself. Sort of. At night, this area will definitely be bouncing. Like, it's a really young area. And the 20th has a lot of good street art as well, as you've seen a little bit around. This part of it in particular can be a lot of fun just to wander. And especially these streets around here have a lot of really fun little restaurants that, uh, yeah, I like spending time up here. Don't get to do it enough. That's how I feel about so many parts of Paris, though. Uh, I, I know. go to so many areas and you're like, I should spend so much more time here. Oh, and there's a really cool street. I don't think it's in this quarter. We'll get to it one of these days, not that far from here, that like winds up around the hill. It might be around here. We'll see. We're gonna we're gonna try and find our way towards maybe a view of of uh, Montmartre from here, and uh, we'll see what we discover along the way. This is up enough here. One fun sign that you should look out for is this, service continue. A lot of restaurants in France, and I mean in Europe in general, will only serve at lunch and dinner and don't serve between. This is something I forget to mention all the time. So you wanna look for a sign that says continuous service, just to make sure that if you're hungry at like 3.30 in the afternoon, that their kitchen is open and you can get some food. And that way, you know. Yeah, that's a great tip because- I'm full of great tips. One thing that we realized, the French, that's a big stereotype. That's a big, French, that's a big statement that's oftentimes, coming. Oftentimes, French restaurants, yeah. and they, yeah, they have very specific times where they serve food. Yeah. And being from Canada, and I'm sure the States, we eat dinner at a totally different time than yeah. here. So we'll go somewhere at like 5.36 and be like, ready to eat dinner. Yeah. And they're like, no. No, you cannot eat here. <laughs> so, and uh, the bus stop is Jordan if you're getting off in the bus, but this is really cool. One of the silver linings I was gonna say to the pandemic is that they're allowing all of this extended patio space for all these restaurants to stay out. So like Paris overnight almost has turned into an outdoor dining frenzy. And I love it and I hope it stays forever. We check out that little grocery store. Check out the little grocery there? Yeah. Alright, let's go check it out. It's cool. I love their branding. Oh, look at that. Yes, let's get popsicles. Detox. Oh god, I want the. Oh, they're all pie. I want the jolie fraise. Perfect day for popsicles. The nothing to apologize for. I made a good first choice. <laughs> oh, they've got beer back here too. Look at this. Yeah, let's give it a try. It's ready, ready for you. Not very graceful. Oh. Ooh la la. 
That's why I think you're supposed to pop the, so like that. And then I think if you go all the way around, oh. you got a little holder. I think it's really dark, but how is it? You bit oh, it? You bit it. I'm not supposed to bite it? No, oh. you're just supposed to like, like lick it. <laughs> it's really good. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff on this boundary, Rue de Belleville. But we're gonna go the other way because we've been on this street before for the 19th in Combat uh, with Girl Meets Glass. Random plugs all around. Uh, so we've already walked down part of this street. We're gonna go the other way and see if we can find that church that I've never been in and really wanna go in. And uh, then we're gonna try and find lunch. Yes. One of the things that gets said that I think Rogan said that you just said that it gets said every time we do one of the outer Aranismans is that sometimes you get surprised by some architecture, modern architecture in the yeah. city that you really like. Look at the difference. This is like old. Yep. Downtown. 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 We're at our final boundary. So this is Rue de Menimona. Feel free to correct that. There's a space invader here that's actually hidden in the tiles. This is a really cool one. Um, right here. Look at this. It's actually built into the tiles of the wall. And I think, I don't know if I have this one. I think it was covered last time I tried to get it. So we're going to get that. But this is the street that I'm butchering the name. Oh, that's some good, that's some good street pr presentation right there. And uh, I'm gonna try and flash this. Yes! Realized when we were walking over that there's no view of, there's not really any views on to the side because we're kind of in the middle of the hill. Starting to go down that way. We didn't have any shot of Montmartre on the other side. That's fine, we'll get them another time. And I've got them in other videos. So, all that's left to do is descend the hill, earn our downhill walk. We've earned our downhill walk. Check out a cool church and find lunch. There's another one, there's another one just here. That's uh, the one that I came and I did find last time. There it is. I love that one. Oh my god, that's cute. I love that one. Also for context for those of you that don't know, Space Invader is, well he just goes by Invader, probably my favorite street artist in Paris, and uh, he has an app, you can collect them, it's called Flash Invader, that's also in my guide. It's a really fun way to explore the city. Keeps you looking up, keeps you looking around, and uh, you know, you can win points, you can go down the leaderboard, but for me it's just a really fun way to uh, motivate myself to go off the beaten path and uh, cut my own track. So, and then you get shots like, this. oh, there's there's a bunch of invaders around here that I already have, but this shot down the street is, uh, is also pretty nice. Do you think they like sports there? We're at the Cafe des Sports. Yeah. They might like sports, yeah. Oh, you can learn, you can make it yourself here. Oh, cool. As we're walking down, Many Monon here, there's a bunch of cutouts on the other side that are out of bounds but you'll find some really fun, basically courtyards, I guess, with a lot of food going on. So there's that one, and there's another one down here. And ooh, here's a little bit of Petite Centure action. And I'm sure that leads to uh, Boutremont. We can actually go down there for a second. That's in, that's in bounds, you wanna go down there? Yeah. The Petite Centure du 20 e I gotta do a thing about this someday, just nothing but entrances. Ooh, it's way cooler down here. This was worth it. Immediate payoff. Oh my gosh, it's like... so much cooler. <laughs> With that mural. Yeah. You can have any shade of house as long as it's black. Oh, so this is, we've, we've, this is the end of it already. Can you feel the cool air coming out of it? Smells like rubber. Does it smell like tires? Um, kind of, yeah, actually. Whoa, okay, wait. I, I see what you mean. How is there so much dirt under here? Garbage. How, how much? Can you get under? How is there so much garbage? Well, in there. Because there's probably an entrance from the other side. Oh, uh, okay. And yeah, well, I wouldn't get in here. Though. Look at all those spikes on top. There's somebody put a mattress there to climb over. So clearly, people oh. have done it. Oh yeah. Most, so if, you ever, if you're ever gonna do the Petite Censure, I actually put this in my running guide because I put a part of the Petite Censure in my running guide. Mm -hmm. Speaking of guides through the city, links below, of course. But in the running guide, I put a section on the Petite Censure, there are two of them. One of which is like very runner friendly. One is like this, which isn't really very runner friendly, but you can go into one of these deep dark tunnels, bring a, fra a flashlight. Even if it's your phone, you're not gonna be able to see jack squat. And a lot of these go underground for a really long ways. But wow, you want to on a day like this because it is nice and cold. It is that breeze is to die for. I feel like I'm sitting in front of a fan. It's a, it's a glorious air conditioned outdoor fan. Disguised as a super cool tunnel. Check around the corner here. 
there's our destination. Just on the other side of the Petit Saint Church. So great. I love I love the look of this church. I've never and I've never been inside. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty 90. Have I ever been inside? I don't think I've ever been inside. I think when I did the 20 and 20, I came by here uh, for the 20th of Ronnie's month, for sure. Filmed all around here, but didn't have the time. And now it's time to go in. Also, there's a really cool shot here. If the building, they tore a building down in between other buildings. So you get a really cool shot of the church through the area that's torn down. So that's pretty cool too. Anyways, we'll see if it's still there. Mini mon nom. I have no idea how to say the street name. I'm gonna get so many comments about that. Oh no, they built a building. Dang it. So there's the church. And you used to be able to look through this gap and see it. And it was so cool. I have a photo somewhere of it. Poopy. I said poopy. We're gonna go check out the church. I was thinking there's some restaurants on the square here. Right? There's a nice little square here, so we might find something when we come out. This presentation though, money. Soft mask on. This church is a really cool blend with the modern. Some of the newest churches have these. So up top. You've got like, all the supports are made out of, I would imagine, iron, which a lot of the modern churches in the outside of Paris incorporate. There are a bunch that have that, but I've never seen one that's got like such beautiful, well-carved stone, which some of this is amazing, with just like iron for the accents. That's super cool. It's not that big of a church. It's very quiet inside, not super echoey, and very hot. So yeah, time to go back inside. <laughs> And you know what else we get if we go outside? Lunch. Yeah! Is that what you're thinking? That was what I was going for. Love <laughs> On the same page. I love that food, life. Do you want to choose or do you want me to choose what we're eating? I want you to choose. Okay, I can choose. Let's go. Oh, these are going to be very... Uh, I don't even know if they're... Are they serving lunch yet? It doesn't look like this it. This may not be where we want to go, actually. All right. There's not as much stuff here as I thought there was going to be. But, uh, you know, if we go back to the... Let's just go down and see what's down and straight ahead. I'm really hungry now, though. For those of you, again, also, it's been a long time since I've done this. The reason this is called the 80 and 8 was originally I was going to do all 80 quarters of Paris uh, because there are the 20 Ronnie's Mots that everybody knows. Pretty much nobody knows, uh, even I didn't know this until not that long ago, that each Ronnie's Mont is broken into four quarters. So that makes 80 of them, makes it a little bit more manageable. You can explore in smaller runs. And so I was like, okay, cool. Like, I'm going to do all 80 in eight months. That seemed reasonable. Not reasonable. That's a lot. That's <laughs> way too much. So I'm taking my time. We're keeping the name. Um, but... Once we find lunch here, we'll sit down. Maybe have that. you can do 80 in eight years. years. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, maybe. Who knows? You never know. That is a lot. All right, let's find lunch. We, I know. So here's the thing. We got that that place we went to earlier. Construction noises. They were quiet till just now. Okay, so that that place we went to earlier where we got the popsicles. I didn't even talk about how like they're really nice. Uh, I heard wood falling. I think we're okay for a second. They were really nice. They they are they handpick everything. Uh, that, and she said basically they know their suppliers personally. Not everything is organic necessarily, but they know the people and that they're they're taking their food and products from. Really cool. And she gave us some recommendations. We made it all the way back to the bottom of the hill. All the recommendations are at the top of the hill. We are currently almost at the top of the hill. But then I remembered. Oh, I've been to this place before a long time ago, Le Jardin. It's really good. I think it's in my guide. I'm not 100 sure. But either way. You want to see if they have lunch? Because yeah, we're like really ready to eat. And it's early. Like we're on like American. We are dans un quart d'heure. Okay, bon, super. À tout à Okay, well, we we still have 15 minutes. The question is, do we spend that trying checking out the other? We well, can check them out. You want to see what the, what's on the menu here first? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we made it all the way to the top of the hill just to realize that one of the places that she recommended is closed for lunch. The other place is way out of bounds. So we're just gonna walk around a little bit. Maybe go back down to the Jordan. Uh, maybe not.
Jogan. Such a cool church. I've never been inside and it's out of bounds. Should we just go back to the other place then? I guess. We, oh, what's this? Let's right when we were about to give up. We usually call it, do you want yeah. pizza? Do you want pizza? No, sure, okay. let's get pizza. Let's yeah. Get Wait. We were about to give up and walk back down to the Jordan, which would have been a good call, but pizza, I mean, hey. And also for me, the spirit, ideally, even if I'm not gonna try a new coffee place, which we did today, yes. though technically it was out of bounds, I do wanna try somewhere new for lunch, if I can, and so. And have been there, so that's actually and I've been, Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You, you saved the day. It was risky. This is really cool because I'm noticing this more and more. We've made a good choice. Be <laughs> they heard us speaking English. I think I asked I asked about ice for the, the other drink. Either way, occasionally, don't expect there to be ice in your water yeah, in Paris, is. literally ever. But if they're really nice, if they're cool, it can happen. These guys get bonus points for that. That was That's good. Yeah, it's cold water. Mm. Anyways, that makes me really happy. Yeah. Merci. It is a, that's a, that's a lot of pizza. I'm, is that enough pizza for you is the question. No. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fold it? Well, I might have to. Do it. I'm looking forward to, <laughs> I was looking forward to your method. And it's gonna be really hot and you're gonna regret taking the bite. Oh my god. <laughs> do not put this in. Oh, it's, it's staying in. You've got that skill. I'm trying to take, I'm trying to take a lesson from your experience. We got the spicy pizza. It's a bad, a good. How good is it? I like it. I like it. The cheese is really nice. The salami, there's two different types of sausage on this. There's salami, very nice. And like a compote of some kind. It's like a chili sauce. Yeah, it's like a chili, a chili mixer. What the band name? I'm happy with this spot. Really good, this is a good choice. Thanks for joining us for this uh, entry in the 88, the 21st uh, quarter that I've been to in the 20th arrondissement, had a great time. If you're interested in, in uh, wandering the streets of Paris, finding some good food, a diversity of food, not just their classic French recommendations, but places that are, I really enjoy of all kinds, all the tips that I've got, lots of stuff. I've got a 135 page guide to the city that's not just recommendations, but it's essays on how to avoid scams, how to use the metro, how to get around town, where I would stay, even where to print, which is something we need to do still. Uh, all that good stuff. You can grab that link below, as well as two mini guides that are on the same page. You just gotta scroll down a little bit. It's a new series called The 15 for Five. 15 recommendations for $5. We've got 15 wine bars in one, 15 running routes in the other, a bunch of other extra handy little tips in them, of course. And if you wanna grab those, they're available for you right there. We're gonna end this here in a second. I'm gonna go see, hopefully I can get my tite séjour. Thanks for joining me, Jess. Appreciate this having so you here. so fun. Thanks for having me. Glad you could join before, uh... yeah, I won't bring it up. Let's eat pizza. <laughs> the pizza was great. Those guys are so nice. And even though we just discovered it and they're not in my guide, I will put them in my Mapster, which is available only to my patrons. $10 and up a month. And to all my patrons, thank you. And to Matt Thompson, today's patron producer. So glad to have you here. So glad to go out and explore the glories of the 20th Arani's month and do a little bit of an 80 and 8. I have to run now to the prefecture to see if I can get my cheat jour finally, hopefully. But first I gotta find a print shop, which he said there was one around the corner here. So. Uh, Let's print the documents. Don't want to trust that they'll accept my digital ones. And then I'll let you know what happens on the other side. Nope, they don't open until two. And even though they were inside and the owner was standing outside, they refused to uh, print my stuff. I actually put a thing in the guide of nice places to print things. That's, sorry, I'll quit pumping the guide here, but I actually added a section on like printing and where to find printers. Unfortunately, apparently, they're the only one in the neighborhood and uh, they won't help. Thankfully, I didn't put them in the guide. I won't send you to those people, don't worry. So, we're gonna try our luck with um, digital documents, which I think should be fine. It's just like a last minute, like, just to be safe, you know? Wish me luck. There's one I know of that's not far from where I'm gonna be getting out, so, uh, I can still give it one last try. Oh yeah, copy self came through for me. These guys are in my guide. Whew, that was easy, fast, and I'm um, just like maybe a 10 minute walk away. So I should be still like five to 10 minutes early. And then again, please wish me luck. We'll see how this goes. Okay, I think if I say it three times, it'll work out right. Wish me luck. There's a very tiny line over there. Here goes nothing. I got it. I got, there was a mild mix up. 
Um, I may have forgotten a couple of really important documents, like my passport and my temporary card, but they were cool. They were really actually very nice. It was a really long line. It took me probably an hour to get in there. What time is it? Yep, it took me an hour in total for a five minute rendezvous, but I got it. I'm so excited. I'm relieved, I feel good. I don't feel quite as, uh, I was not that stressed out to be honest, so I don't feel quite as relieved as the last time, but I still feel really good and I'm so excited. <sighs> Four more years, man. Four more years till 2025. I am fully legal to do pretty much everything but vote. We'll deal with that next year. Anywho, hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I, I don't even feel the need to make a full video about the whole visa thing today. I mean, if you're curious, I can always talk about everything again in the future, but despite the little hiccups and sillinesses today, it went smoothly. They were actually really nice, very understanding, and they ended up refunding my old tax payment that I made and making me pay a little bit less today. It all worked out great. See you next week. I'm here for, yeah, I, okay, it's hitting me. This is, that's, I'm so, I'm actually really excited. Oof. So weight off. Anyway, see it. See it in a couple. Days.